Hello and welcome to the 2020-2021 High School Awards Program. Wow, you all made it throughout this school year. Despite all of the challenges, a lot of character development was needed and self-discipline to work both virtually and in person. My hat goes off to you and I have the utmost respect for all of you students who worked really hard this school year. You should be proud of yourselves. Now this afternoon's award program will be pretty brief. Starting with academic awards. This is for perfect attendance, both fourth quarter as well as the full school year. You will see on the screen all of the names. If you see an asterisk, a star, that is for the full year. Congratulations to all of you who had perfect attendance. Whether it was virtually or in person, you showed up. Great job, very proud of all of you. Next is honor roll for fourth quarter and for the full year. Just like before, as I mentioned, if you see the asterisk, that is for the full year. If you don't, then that is for fourth quarter only. Honor roll and high honor roll. Honor roll is 3.0 and above. High honor roll is 3.5 and above. Congratulations. Now, as you go through the program, you will see a lot of awards that are shown. It will be a teacher that shows up on the screen and they will be recognizing specific awards. Hi, I'm Susan DePore. I'm here to announce to you the winners for the National 2021 Marie Jean Phillips Art Contest. I'd like to extend a thank you to Becky Apple for her help, as well as Carla Gunn, who helped coordinate the competition. Last winter, all of you students participated in the competition and they chose first, second, and third place. Those who were first place were sent off in a contest against other deaf programs and schools for the deaf. Recently, they announced the winners. I am very proud to say we have two winners from our school. The first one to recognize is for a category special art, ages 13 to 18. This student won first place. Wow. And it goes to Michaela Weaver. Congratulations. The next category is age 13 to 18. This is a student who got first place all throughout the nation. Very proud to an announce that the winner is Nevea Benning. Congratulations to the two of you. You guys have made us proud. Good luck and we look forward to seeing you next year in 2022 for the new art competition and storytelling and poetry contest. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Becky Eppel. I am the National Honor Society sponsor here at Wisconsin School for the Deaf. I wanted to take a moment and describe a little bit about the National Honor Society. 
This year, we are celebrating the 100 year anniversary. The organization was established in 1921 and has been going ever since. It recognizes academic achievement and it's the only organization in this nation that does so. It is an extremely high honor. This year, we have a large group of students. We have six seniors and five other students all participating. So congratulations to all of them. I wanna talk a little bit about what is involved in the National Honor Society. First of all, you have to be able to qualify. You have to have three semesters of academic success, achievements. That's the first qualification. You have to show leadership, good characteristics, and community service. I will go ahead and list all the names of our members. Again, we have 11 students. I think this might be the largest group that we've had. I've been working here for 26 years and I don't recall uh, this amount of students in the past. So again, I think this might be the largest group that we've had in a long time. We have six seniors. Our president is Caitlin Bookman. The vice president is Katie McClyman. The secretary is Daviana Daniels. So far, those are all seniors. Our treasurer is Caden Rawlings. He's currently a junior. Our historian is Caleb Zapadinsky. We also have five other members. We have Nevea Benning, who transferred here from Madison area. And she was a member at her previous school before joining us. We also have Val Camino, a senior. We have Xinyang Zhang, a senior. We have Eliza Camino, a junior. We have a sophomore, Braden Hodges. And we also have a junior, Marissa Legau. Congratulations to all of the students. You are all wonderful. You have shown wonderful uh, role model uh, at our school. You're with your hard work and your community service. And I know right now you're doing, you have been doing community service, working with the Delavan Police Department for the last couple of years and building a good relationship with their department. So I wanna thank the students for all of your hard work with that. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Hello. My name is Karen Terskany Lopez. I am the sponsor for the Science Club. We had a wonderful school year we developed our vision of what we wanted for the science club. We had many wonderful discussions. We also performed experiments and shared them with the group. Some things we did were successful and some things weren't, but regardless, what's most important is that we learned from our experiences. I want to recognize two individuals, high school students. The first one is the president of the science club and his name is Caleb Zapadinsky. 
Yay, congratulations. The next is the vice president for the science club. That is Jalela Martins. Yay. Thank you for your contributions, your time, and your efforts. Have a wonderful summer. Yay. Hello. I just wanted to do a quick introduction of myself. My name is Lance Weldon Jr. I'm the social worker here at Wisconsin School for the Deaf. And the slides I'll be presenting will be naming the students who have completed all of their community service credits in volunteering to the community. You guys have done such a wonderful job. I'm excited to recognize these students in the upcoming slides and please share with in, in complimenting them and congratulating them. In order to meet the community service hours, they had to have 32 hours. Obviously, the more the better. They would have to verify through documentation and sometimes I would have to double check. These students uh, follow the guidelines that we give for community service hours. The students who have done more than 32 hours of community service will receive a gray cord for graduation to honor and respect them for all of their hard work and giving back to the community. Again, these students in front of us, congratulations. Let's celebrate and recognize all of the community service that you've done. Again, to all of you guys, congratulations and the best of luck to your future. I am excited to hear from you guys again soon. Don't let it be too long. Congratulations. Now we'll recognize positive behavior for fourth quarter and for the full year. As you see the students' names, you can see there's a lot of students who earned this. They all showed the Firebird promise, responsible, respect, safety, and caring. Now it's really important to honor our 2021 graduating class. It was announced by email previously to the school year end. This program is shown after graduation, but it's still important to honor and recognize our students from the class of 2021, as well as the salutatorian, which was Caitlin Bookman. Congratulations, Caitlin. It's also an honor to recognize the top student for all four years with the best GPA. That is the valedictorian. That is a very high honor and it was given to Katie McClyman. Congratulations. Now, in closing of the awards program, I want to wish you all a great summer. Stay cool, 
stay safe, read a lot of books, and I'm excited to see you back on campus this fall. Farewell.